this is the edging I put in and there's the smaller piece. This is gonna be mostly hidden and you can see that that cut kind of peeled off the color a little, but at first glance, it's certainly a lot better than what was there before and it will help protect the edge and I'm still happy with it. I forgot to videotape me putting the template on here, <clears throat> but I have traced it and I'm about to cut out the piece that will um, go in the slider door panel. It's a beautiful piece of birch, um, really tiny, maybe quarter inch, a little less. Should be nice and I'm going to stain it with a light oak stain. Thank you. <clears throat> Those were the pilot holes. Now, we drill them out all the way. I did test one first. This is gonna work with the little um, clip plug things that actually held on the first one. So um, that is awesome. Ooh, I forgot to pre-drill the centers. I'll do the outsides and then I'll do the centers. Brush is too big, but it's the finest bristles that we had. I'm completely decimating Dave's painting supply, so I'm gonna have to replace some of these things. This is a first coat, and then it says sand it and put on a second coat. I hate doing things twice, but I'll do it. There's my other panel. It's just drying on that second coat and then I'll put it in. It's almost ready. Um, but here is my tin foil. So I've got this, I cut it out then around that imprint I made. And I'm putting it on this cardboard first to make a more firm template for the wood. Um, and that way, once I have it on the cardboard, I can hold it up and make sure I've got the template right before I actually cut it um, on the cardboard. And I'm really hoping so nothing is a um, perfect shape of any kind in a van. So this comes to a point on the left side and this comes to a point on the right side. And I'm hoping by flipping my template over, I can do both sides equally, but I will find out once I have that cardboard. Mom, okay. Looks like, um, hard to tell because I can't hold it now with two hands and hold the phone but when I get this part in straight so that it's pressed into that indentation this end pulls up it looks like I cut off a little too much here so if I round it out I should be good I flip it oh get in there if I flip it it looks like it's gonna work here too 
Yeah, once again, this needs to be a little more round on that. I, it looks like I cut it off. It is gonna work. And you know what? If it doesn't, I can sand down the edges of the wood a little bit until it does. But um, I'd rather, it, this is pretty full around the indentation. And so I'd rather start out um, as full as possible and sand down. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let's get this puppy in here. I don't need that. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is how it's supposed to go. I can see the holes. Whoops. are black but I don't think I'm gonna find pretty ones I'm hitting them with a mallet to get them the rest of the way in <laughs> okay I do not have enough holders for this entire panel so I need to get some more little clips I think what I'm going to do because these ones don't matter as much is I'm going to rob the back doors to finish the front door since it's got more weight to hold and then um, show you the finished product. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, I have my two pieces and they are not the most beautiful pieces in the world, but now they've got a first coat drying. I'll come out sand and do a second coat when they're dry. And here we have some leverage holding up this, this beam that Dave's, um, this is the this rear of the van um, and it's, the first beam that's going to be attached is part of the layered um, like bulkhead that he's devising to be a support beam for the ceiling strips. And he'll do something similar up by the cab. Not sure if I showed the panels on the back door once they were finished and installed. I, it's been really hard to keep up with the filming as I go, but um, there they are. So that's a nice, a nice look for those doors. And now I'm going to do this long one that is on top of the slider. So that ought to tie nicely in with, with that bottom panel. Once again, I used the tin foil and pressed it into this section and then I traced around it on cardboard and then fits in here. So that is my cardboard template and now that I will trace on the wood. Let's see if this is a wide enough piece for this. <laughs> it is about an eighth of an inch short, but I think that's fine because there's a big lip. Wait. There. That ought to hold it nicely. Hold this end real quick. <laughs> I thought it would go all the way, but I need to get it quite right.
finishing the last part of the interior wooden panels that go on the inside of doors. So I'm just marking a couple spots for screws. I'll mark the middle of each end and that should do it. All right, this project takes two. We're gonna drill the metal and put in two screws and then I can do the rest with this last piece in. Should I just put the thing yeah, in? Yeah, let's put the okay. thing in while well, I'm trying to help you. Hot, 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 probably. You may be asking yourself, was this the most important project that should come next on this fan build? Eh, probably not. But when you're waiting for things to arrive, um, everything does need done at some point. So uh, this was a really fun one. It was very rewarding and I liked seeing the improvement at the end. Here's my big reveal. Don't mind the ugly cardboard. Don't mind those, they're staying. But those are the ones that are gonna show on the back doors. And you saw this one. I got more little clips, so it is all filled in. And there is the one we just did. So let's see if I can back up enough to show the whole, the whole door. That's gonna look really nice. 